Hurricane Adalia has now made landfall. Breaking news on Adalia, the hurricane officially making landfall in Florida. I believe, yes, we do have landfall. They have just confirmed it. We have landfall as of right now. It just made landfall moments ago, 745 officially. The National Hurricane Center has said that Adalia has made landfall. hurricane about 165 miles from Miramar Beach. As you can see behind me, the storm surge came way up almost to the campers here on the beach. And a lot of jellyfish came in last night. And I just want to wish my husband a very happy birthday today. It's August the 30th, 2023. Today's his birthday and he's getting celebrated at the beach. Right now he is back at the camper getting us some ice cream to bring on the beach so we can eat. Well, we got double red flags means uh, you can't even touch the water. He's going down and catching people that are, that are just sitting in the water. So when there's a double red flag and you see the flag with the swimmer with the cross thread, that means you can't even touch the water. So you have to back up where you're not in the water at all. So he's actually sirening off down the, <laughs> down the beach. Yeah, so. Yeah. so, as you can see, our half our beach is gone, so everybody's kind of piled up right now. We didn't even know about Hurricane Adelia until it was in the Gulf headed our way. Just be weather aware and always be prepared. The weather service never showed the storm track coming our way, so we stuck it out, but we stayed up on the weather hourly, being weather aware. In this episode of Camp Gulf, Big Kahuna's Water Park, I had to visit the proclaimed largest water park on the Emerald Coast. Stay to the end where I'll reveal the price of the proclaimed largest water park on the Emerald Coast. Does it live up to its proclamation? I'll make comparisons to other water parks and I'll give my overall water park rating at our time of the visit. All right, here we are. Big Kahuna, we're gonna try it out. We got here early for everybody else, I think. It's kind of more, you can kind of figure it out. Kind of cool. It's almost explored it. Well, this is the Thunder River, and we kind of wish this was open because this is the one I want to ride. It ends up in the Lazy River. Coming late August, so half the water park is closed just because the lifeguards are high school's kids and they're all in school right now. So the weekends, I believe they have most of everything open. But if you're wanting to do the entire water park, you're probably going to have to come early in the year, like June, July, because I believe when school starts back, that's when uh, this goes into partial mode. And after Labor Day, then it goes weekend only. So probably if we had came up here on Saturday or Sunday, we probably would have probably would have done it. But I mean, they, even this little eatery area closed. They have one area open over on the other side, 
and I think they are I've opened up some new ride because there's some people coming up with green tubes that I haven't seen yet. One guy that operated the ride said that they were going to try to open up some other rides throughout the day, so we're going to find out, see how that goes. Dang, I wish this was open. It looks like that'd be fun, something different. Come over here like that. <laughs> We're together. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> On that that little where I bumped into you, <laughs> I sat there, and that girl just looked at me like I don't know what to do for you. I'm like, oh my goodness! So finally, the other guy said, "Grab on the wall." I kept grabbing, and grabbing, just wasn't working. That was pretty fun, wasn't it, Tanya? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, see this whole side of the water park, most of it's all closed. This is called the Raging Rhino River. So number three on the scale, kind of. Here we go. Maybe I want to get And I did. Here we go. Oh, got a little push. Sonny? First lock in. You go first. There's a little design flaws in this. I wish this lazy river was open. So this whole little section here, they got water slides over there. And they got those up there. Those are those are still open right now. I did that little raft thing. But all these other rides are closed over here because they just don't have enough people. So as you can see, this is the light ride we just came off of. See so people get stuck on it. You get stuck on it pretty easy. You see, you got some like little rides over here. Probably nothing enormous. It's mostly a kitty area here. Now, if you had a kid, this is where you'd want to be. Quiet. That's be where you'd want to be. That little kitty pool area there, and nobody over there. That'd be where you'd want to be. Right so, yeah, we should have all this open. You want to go down here? You're hot. Yeah, this little Thunder River thing here. Yeah. I think this would be fun. That goes all the way down there to the lazy river that we're about to go to. Man. Okay, so how much is it to get into this place? It's 57 cents, but it's about 100. I think it's 54. Yeah, so we did the tickets, tickets at work. work. We got it. And they're $41 inside. 
yeah. change. So if you have a work email, sign up for ticketsatwork.com yeah. and use your work email and set up your account and you can get a big discount. Okay. Yeah. The tickets can be down to $41. Otherwise, you're paying, you're paying $60 oh, it's $100. Bucks, and half the water park is closed. It's kind of stinks. Yeah. So, so I would highly recommend if you have a company that does yeah. the tickets at work thing. Yeah, probably, probably come in the middle of the season. Instead yeah. of the end of the season. And come on weekends too because a lot of the kids are in school. So a lot if of the kids are in school. Like now in August. August. Yeah, a lot of the kids are in school. So that's why the park is closed. That's why the park is closed today. So yep. I would come on weekends, Saturday All or right. Sunday. Let's go to the water. Let's go to the Lazy River. Lazy River. right here behind you. So here it's cool off. Because it's at the end of the summer season and kids are back in school the kids that that will run the rides they're in school because they're school kids high school kids so that's part of why it's like that so probably during the weekend it was probably a better time to come or better yet in the middle of the summer they left all the major really good rides open and those were those were fun those were awesome but, so they got some really good rides, but it's just unfortunate that half the park is closed. You know, they have two lazy rivers, and the other lazy river was closed. And so, anyway, it's fun though. We had fun. Still had fun, didn't we? Yeah. So my overall water park rating for Big Kahuna's Water Park, I give it a 5 out of 10. Based off of our experience this time, with only 50% of the park operating. I feel like in those cases, you almost should get a discount because you're only being able to experience half of the attractions. Disney's Blizzard Beach is $74 per adult. Disney's Typhoon Lagoon is $74 per adult. Volcano Bay is $80 per adult. Aquatica Water Park is $49.99 per adult. Big Kahuna's Water Park price at the gate is $57.99. Online discount is $54.99. So Tanya bought our tickets through Tickets at Work for $42 each. Join us next Thursday for the finale of the Camp Golf Series as we finish out reviewing the campground. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share 
because it really does help out our channel. Now check out these videos.